the anti-compounding relay valve system. When we have uh, the parking brake applied, this part of the brake chamber is pushing on the slack adjuster. It has about 60 pounds of, uh, per square inch of force being applied to the wheel ends, uh, to the slack adjuster. Uh, that's fine. We can go up to 150 PSI working pressure on our uh, foundation brakes. Beyond that, if we get beyond 150 PSI of application to the slack adjuster, we put too much force in the brake ends. They're only designed to go up to 150 PSI. So we have to be very careful about that. Otherwise, we can create uh, problems with uh, damaged linings or cracked drums, uh, twisted camshafts, uh, damaged uh, brake chambers, so on and so forth. So how do they keep the pressures uh, to the safe working limit of 120 PSI? By using an anti-compounding uh, system. When we have an anti-compounding relay valve, we have this type of valve on here. This is going to control your parking brake circuit. So our yellow dash button will be connected to the service port on the relay valve. We're going to have an airline that comes from our primary uh, delivery on our treadle valve for our rear brakes. That's the same air that's going to operate your service brakes. And that's on the balance port of the anti-compounding valve. We also have a port on here that supplies air from the uh, air tank. And we have delivery ports on the bottom of the valve that are going to deliver air to the spring brake chamber to hold off the parking brake springs. And we have a, a release, a quick release valve or exhaust port on the bottom so that when we uh, want to apply the brakes, the air in the circuit is released here. So when we have the uh, vehicle parked, we have the yellow dash button pulled out. Uh, so there's no air signal sent to the relay valve. Any air that was in the parking brake circuit is exhausted through the exhaust port of the relay valve and the parking brake spring is applied. When the driver, if the driver were to step into the vehicle and uh, apply the service brakes with full air pressure, let's say the system set to 120, you would have an air signal that would be sent to your service brake chambers of 120 pounds. If we have the parking brake on, in addition to that, we'll have 120 pounds of service pressure applying on the slack adjuster, and we'll have another 60 pounds per square inch of pressure being applied by the parking brake spring to give us a total of 180 pounds of force being applied out. As we discussed earlier, you can only have a maximum of 150 PSI working pressure. So what they do is they put uh, a line called an anti-compounding line from the delivery on the treadle valve to the control or balance port on the anti-compounding relay valve. That way, if the driver were to have the parking brake supplied and step on the treadle valve, air would be sent to the service chamber as well as it would be sent to the anti-compounding port on the anti-compounding relay valve which would then seal the two-way check valve. It would allow service brake pressure to act on the uh, parking brake relay valve and allow air to be sent to the parking brake spring proportionately to be what's being sent to the service brake chamber. So if the driver were to step on it, give it 120 PSI, you get 120 PSI through this valve to hold off your parking brake springs, plus you'd also have 120 PSI coming to your service brakes, uh, and that way you never exceed the 150 working pressure.